YouTube vlog. This is how I feel. I was up all night last night. Had to soccer with this one. Hi yo. You ready? Yeah. That's yeah. That's what's going on. Had to soccer right now. I don't know. I don't know why they do activities during daylight. Not like some of us are nocturnal or something, but whatever. We got smoothies. We just left Trader Joe's, figured I would stop across the street at Tropical Smoothie Cafe and get some smoothies real quick. And now we're headed home. But I got everybody a smoothie, so nobody should complain. Okay, y'all, we are home. This was supposed to be like a day vlog, but um, soccer practice ended up getting canceled because one of the coaches was sick. So me and Zuri decided to go to Trader Joe's since we had an hour anyways. And um, yeah, I got everything that I was looking for, for the most part. They were out of a couple of things that I was looking for, but I did get mostly everything that I was looking for. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. All right, so this is everything. So I'll start over here. I got this cookie kit for the girls to do today to just kind of like prevent the coloring on the wall from the crazy baby. Um, it's just a turkey walks into a pumpkin patch cookie kit. Um, got this salad. This is gonna be for dinner for tonight because I just kind of want like a salad on the side. Found the teeny tiny apple pies. We'll do that for dessert probably tonight. Got these peanut butter and cocoa dipping sticks. Zuri requested that, so that'll be like a snack for her to take to school. Honey crisp apple cider. We didn't need it, but it really looks like real apple cider, so I definitely want to try it. Found the cinnamon bun oat creamer. I'm so excited to taste this. The kids wanted chocolate milk. They want this every time we go to Trader Joe's, so I grab it. Got some shredded Swiss trees, Swiss trees, trees. This is trees. Nice to know. Swiss cheese and Gruyere cheese. I love this with a grilled cheese. This is my favorite cheese to use for grilled cheese. They had the unexpected cheddar chicken sausage. I can't wait to try that. And then the smoked apple Chardonnay chicken sausage. Can't wait to try that one as well. Got Portuguese Florida Sal. I cannot wait to use this. I have wanted a Florida Sal for a while. And so when I found out, oh, I've wanted a Florida Sal for a while. So um, I'm so glad that they had it. Gio's been asking me what this is. So I'm gonna open it and show because I'm pretty sure he's not the only one that doesn't know. But it's just a thicker, flakier salt. Really? So when you're like doing fries, this is amazing to put on top of fries and stuff like that. It's just a flaky salt, essentially. But it's really good as like a topping salt. Um, found the unexpected cheddar holiday spread. I cannot wait to try this. I'm probably gonna do this like as a snack then. Zuri wanted the baby bell cheeses. I found the garlic and Asiago cheese dip. I'm gonna try this one of these days and I cannot wait. Got this sesame miso salad with salmon for Gio to take to school. Um, Thanksgiving stuffed seasoned chips. I have not tried these in the past, but everybody's raving about them, so I'm gonna try them. Cornbread crisps I figured would be really good with the cheddar holiday spread. So we'll see how that works out. Got the Papa Dolly mess because I'm gonna do some fettuccine Alfredo. What? Well, it's really not gonna be fettuccine, is it? It's gonna be just Alfredo. But <laughs> I'm gonna do this uh, one of these days this week. Gio needed tartar sauce for his fish that he got from Walmart. The Dutch griddle cakes, but sadly I couldn't find the chicken breakfast sausages to go with them to make the um, McGriddles. So I don't know. I'm just probably gonna find like some regular sausage patties from another grocery store or something. That was like such a depressor, but whatever. Two packs of the peppermint pretzel slims. Those are gonna be gone before the week is out. I already know that. Trying the butter toffee pretzels. Up here we got some seasoned Brussels sprouts, roasted seasoned Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese. More mozzarella sticks for the kids. Vegetable bird's nest. I love these, I love these, I love these. I did find the braised pork. Po pork. What, what's wrong with me today? I did find the braised pork shoulder in fig and apricot sauce. The price was not bad at all, actually. So um, hopefully, I mean it feels heavy, you can't see it like you can the um, roast beef that they sell, but it does feel pretty heavy. Hopefully that's really good. 
got these breaded chicken tenderloin breasts. This is going to be for our Alfredo because I'm too lazy to fry up chicken for that. Got two bags of the mandarin orange chicken. We'll do that at some point this week. Waffle fries because we love their waffle fries. I needed more banana bread mix. I mean, it's, I'm drowning in banana bread over here, but it is what it is. Then I got the cracker assortment for if I don't like the cornbread crisps with the cheese spread and also for the garlic asiago cheese dip. Although I feel like that would be good with like crusty bread, but I don't think I have crusty bread. But anyways, yeah, so this is everything that we got today from Trader Joe's. Good job, Zaylee. You decorating your cookie? Okay. Good job. Can you stop? Yeah. I'm picking cookies. Thank you. I'm painting cookies. I'm using yellow. Not worth the hype. The hype is bigger than the product. It's nasty. It's not that it's nasty. It's just it's not. It's not giving it. Yeah. What it needs to give. But this, I'm not gonna lie, this yeah, that's good. with this dipped. First of all, these are really good. I can imagine eating this with some chili. So I definitely want to go back to Trader Joe's at some point and get more of these because I want to make some chili with this. Uh, I love yeah. chili and cornbread, and I feel like this would be it. But I Yo, dipped this that? in that cheddar cheese spread. I was like, yeah, that's that's probably good with that cheddar. Mm hmm. Definitely was worth the hype. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Trash. Good job, Zaylee. Oh, so pretty. Good so pretty. <laughs> so now I'm going to try this. Let's see. I like it. You want to check it? Here. You don't like it, Zay? No. Sorry, I don't like it either. Roger. You like it, Zay? You, you like, like it? like it? Are you forgetting I like stuffing? I like stuffing too, but that it's not giving stuffing. It's not. You like it? Is I it yummy? Like one of these yummy. No, but I like that. Two out of four like it. No. I guess that's on you. Oh, that aftertaste hit you, huh? Okay, so now one out of four. Oh, you want more chips? Of course, baby. That's yours. That's all yours. Okay, Zuri's cookies are looking nice. These are so pretty, Zuri. You did a good job. These are good. Where's your cookies? I see one on the floor. Uh oh. Look at your cookies. It's so pretty. You did such a good job. She did good. She's loving these chips, though. I'm glad somebody likes them because. Because it's not me. Nah, not at all. Not me. Not at all. She's like, snack time is it today. Okay, who wants to try which one? Snack is it. Is it good? Who wants to try which? Because turkey, um, I think uh, this is the. Uh, no. This is. This, this the one acorn? is this, the acorn, yeah. This one is the leaf, but this one is the pumpkin. Which okay. one do you want? Um, hmm, I don't know. You pick. Hmm. I think you should try this one. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. <laughs> How's the smoothies? Good. Mine was the smoothies really good. Are good yeah, mine was really, really good. But it has like a really strong pineapple type effect where it made like my tumbler. It didn't even have that much pineapple. It was more mango. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we're finally ready for dinner. This is the girls' plates. So I made a pot roast in the crock pot all day with some baby potatoes and some baby carrots and some celery. I used a can of beef broth and then two packets of the Kinder Sunday Roast Seasoning. 
and yeah let that cook all day so this is the outcome this is the girls plates like i said then i made some mushroom risotto and that's that and then i made the salad that i got from trader joe's so they each have a little bit of salad because they've both been eating salad lately surprisingly so this is going to be their dinner and then i'm going to make my plate and geo's plate in a little bit all right y'all so it is the end of the night i'm about to have me a drink Oh yeah, it's just grapefruit juice. <laughs> but I like to pretend that it's not. Mm. Yeah, I stopped drinking a long time ago because my drinking used to be excessive. So I stopped. So anyways, I'm about to do my nails for the week. I'm about to do my nails for the week. I do my own nails. And when I do them, well, the ghosts are moving stuff again. Something just like moved over here, and nobody's over there. <laughs> but I just saw. You saw it, right? No, she was running to it. Well, it was really long. I yeah. <laughs> I do my own nails. They last me at least a week. Sometimes even two. I'm pretty sure. Hey, girl, can you stop moving the table, please? No, Tigger doesn't want candy. Tigger doesn't eat candy. He doesn't eat candy, baby. My love. Stop shaking the table. Don't kick the cat in the butt. Saintly save. Where did you learn that? Where did she learn that? She's just lifting up her little foot and kicking him in the butt, and he's just looking at her like. Did you know the times that you've been kicking him in the butt from you? From you? I never did that to him. Oh, yes, you I did. I did that to Draco. Yes, did. I did it to Draco. I didn't do that to him. No. Did that to my kid. No. Anyways. Zaya. Please. Go watch Little Bear. The internet's back right. Right, guys? Exactly. Go watch Little Bear. Or do you want Color Crew? She was actually watching. I can't. I cannot itch my arm because I have Vaseline on my arm. Oh well. Sorry for the chaos. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing my nails. They last me anywhere from a week to two weeks. And they would honestly last me like three or four based on the way that I do them. If my hands weren't in dishwater 24-7. Thank you. Be careful or you're going to burn those. Plastic. Um, but yeah, it's actually because I found out that I'm highly allergic to all of the acrylics and stuff at the nail salons. My hands were like breaking out with my eczema extremely bad whenever I would go to the salon. So I started learning to do my own nails. I just buy press-ons. Normally I buy them at like Target or even Dollar General has like really good ones. But these ones I found at Primark, you see the sticker, $2.50. $2.50. I did one from Primark like last week. These are the leftovers. They're really cute. They're short though. I don't usually do short, but they were cute. So I bought them, but for $2.50, um, they lasted me a week and a half, I think. And like I said, they would last me a lot longer if my hands weren't in dishwater constantly. But it's actually really easy. So for $2.50, um, I also got these little nail buffers from Primark. It came in a pack of two for $2.30. So um, I had like leftover nail glue, the Kiss. The Kiss Pink Gel is the best nail glue. And then these little cuticle sticks, those are like everywhere. Um, but essentially, I wash my hands with dawn soap like the blue dawn specifically and then i push back my cuticles and then i just file down my nails real quick and then i just glue and press and these nails for two dollars and fifty cents last me a week or two <clears throat> again depending on how much i'm doing that week and then i don't have to pay hundreds of dollars at the nail salon for that look and my nails are done which i love I love having my nails done 
I don't like having my nails look like this. Like, tell me you're a mom without telling me you're a mom. <laughs> you know, like, no personal time. I'm still working on learning to do my toes. Um, because, like I said, I'm very allergic to the products at the nail salons. So, <sighs> sucks to be me. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, so I'm learning to do my toes. Once I figure that out, it's over. Okay? Alright, better. So, yeah. Anyways, though, I will show you guys the finished product. This comes with nail glue, but I don't trust it. Okay, I really don't trust it. First of all, there's like a huge warning label. Oh, wait, there's a huge warning label on this one, too, but it's just this one's cuter because it's pink. Oh, damn. <laughs> This ain't good either, but oh well, shoot, it is what it is, but yeah, I don't use this one, um, I throw that one away. And I use the Kiss brand one, it little, comes in a little bag, and then you just mark them out, glue them on, and go. Okay, my nails are done, Ooh, what is that, let's finish off. Did you bump your head? On what? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm sorry. Who did it? 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 Gio did it? Alright, but anyways, this is the finished nails. I get a lot of questions all the time, like, Ooh, where do you do your nails? Your nails are so nice. Girl, these is press-ons. Have been for a long time. I know they look like they're not, but they are. They're press-ons. <coughs> I think it's because back in our day, press-ons used to be, like, really cheap looking. Really cheap looking. Now they make them, like, real professional looking. So you couldn't even tell. Like, if you just saw me on the street, you would think... I actually went and got my nails done, girl. I did this for $2.50. $2.50 for 30 minutes of my time. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm about to go to bed. I've had a lovely night with y'all. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye. The what? <laughs> I said you're not cute. Go to bed. Don't you have school tomorrow? No. They can't go to school. No. You have yeah. school tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Yeah, Make sure you wiggle those teeth. Them is coming. They look snaggly because they're coming out weird, bro. Yeah. Ooh. I don't even want to know what you're going to look like without those two front teeth. Oh, you know what you're going to sing for Christmas? All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. No. No. <laughs> because no. they're definitely going to fall out before Christmas. Because they're almost there. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, girl. Yeah, they're there. They're there. You're not going to have front teeth for Christmas. Stop All it. I want for Christmas no. is my two no. front teeth. No. My two front no. teeth. My two front no. teeth. No. All I want for Christmas is Invisalign. <laughs> It's like braces, but you can't see them. They're like invisible braces. Oh, yeah, I want those too. You don't need braces yet. Your teeth haven't even finished growing. You're losing all those right now. And then when the big teeth grow in, they're probably going to be way straighter than mine. Like, it's not even like my teeth aren't straight. Nah. Like, they're, okay, so they're kind of straight. It's just, okay, this one right here is pushed out more. Because when the baby tooth was falling out, it didn't actually fall out. Like, the dentist had to pull it out because it never came out. And so this one started growing in, and then the baby tooth was behind it still. So Does this one, mean? yeah, kind of. Yeah, this one fully grew in, and then the baby tooth was still there. 
So then the doctor had, the dentist had to pull that baby tooth and so this never moved back into place. Same thing with this one. This one, you see that separation? That one? Mm -hmm. That you're touching, yeah, I yeah. see it. So the baby tooth was actually up here. Up there? And so this one never fully moved forward. And then this side too, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. But I, yeah, I don't know. I had some problems with my baby teeth like refusing to fall out. Even though they were like loose. They were very loose, but they didn't fall. Oh, let me see. Oh, that's the replacement for this one. But it's a lot bigger. Wait a minute. I didn't notice that. It's actually a lot bigger than this right here and this right here. So I think these two are going to be the next to get loose because this one has to come in. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Just watching your teeth grow in. It's crazy. Anyways, yeah. Let's get to bed now, guys.